Hello, hello, and welcome once again. J76NY here, returning to War on the Sea. And I have the high honor and distinct privilege of being the only person in War on the Sea history to take Guadalcanal, build it up to a level 5 airfield, and then have them slip troops in and recontest the island. So we are working on uh, dealing with that. We brought some troops down from Florida Islands. It was not enough, so we're going to go snatch some off of uh, Rennell, bring them back up, and hopefully that'll be enough to retake the island. Uh, whoever the commander is, <coughs> J76NY, of the Surface Action Group 9 is going to get fired for letting the three destroyers slip through and plant troops on Guadalcanal. So he's out of a job. Those destroyers were taken care of by a airstrike, in which I strafed the living shit out of them until they all sank. So now what we have right up here off of the Shortland Islands is one battleship, one destroyer. This Kingfisher here is going to keep an eye on them. We've got the Gato moving in. We are also going to launch... Some Dauntlesses. Actually not. We're going to launch some Avengers with torpedoes. Because I don't want anything tricky happening. We're also going to launch our B-17s. With armor-piercing bombs. See who gets there first. We could probably send the Tar Heel Strike Group in to deal with them as well, but I don't think that's going to be necessary, but who knows. And that's that. So let's hit play and see how we do. Alright, so we have two flights of Avengers with torpedoes and our B-17s. I was hoping to get uh, Gato in on this, but I don't think that's going to happen. So we will go to tactical. And we've got just one of our flights of Avengers, which is unfortunate. Okay. Let's pause. Uh, we're going to split them up into groups of three. Kind of hopefully come at them from all different angles, so there's nowhere for the uh, battleship to go. got our eight B-17s. Uh, we'll put them in Vic with uh, two groups of three and one group of two. All right. Where, oh, where could that battleship be? There she is. Okay, Avengers. Okay, your primary target is, of course, the battleship. I'll have two groups uh, head down to the south in case she turns away.
B-17s. And we'll have this group of two target the battleship or the uh, destroyer. All right, B-17s. I'm gonna just gonna have you guys come in on the attack right now. We'll let the Avengers get into position. they do that we can identify her uh fuso yeah it's a fuso Okay. You move in on the attack as well as you. Okay, let's see how we do. All right, their torpedoes. Why did it look like only one of them launched? Oh, they all did. Okay, this group, they are launching. She's turning to maneuver. One hit, two hits, three hits, four hits. Okay, let's get the other Avengers in. Five hits. Gonna get that last hit. Oh, just missed. And now we got our uh, B-17s moving in to drop their bombs. There we go. It's like we missed that destroyer there. It's like our other Avengers are about to overfly. Let's see. Just want to make sure that battleship's done. So far we haven't lost anybody. She's barely moving. Well, there we go. We will torpedo a sinking ship. No mercy for you. And we'll end up missing anyway. One hit. <laughs> Two hits. Dud! Three hits. There we go. That's a definite kill on that battleship. Destroyer looks uh, like she's doing okay. Probably didn't even damage her at all. Yep. 37 command points gained. One successful battleship attack. And we can leave. OK, 
Okay. Now we do have our... Oh, they're returning the base. That's probably why they didn't get pulled into it. Okay, so... You can return to base. You can return to base. Enterprise, can you launch? Yes, you can. Dauntlesses with high explosive. Have you come up? Finish off that destroyer. Keep our kingfisher in the area. And we'll send out one more scout. If they pull back this way. And from you, Honolulu. See if they come this way. And you will continue with your patrol pattern. All right, something like that. And advance time. All right, so we just got the notification. Uh, Rennell Island is under our control, even though it doesn't say so right there. Maybe I just didn't give it enough time to catch up. But we do have the destroyer with our Dauntlesses moving in. So we'll get that taken care of. If we can find her. There we go. Target number one. And watch the fireworks. Speed up time a little bit. Nope. Speed up. I guess we can't. Very overcast day. Oops. Quite a lot of hits there, and that destroyer. Let's see what the damages are. Critical and critical. It's advanced time. Select everybody. Strafing unnecessary. Okay. One more destroyer down. Turn the base, probably a whole lot of overkill going on right there. And here we have, it says it's under our control, but not there. Let's check this. Uh, objectives, locations. Rennell still says it's contested. Hmm. It's interesting. I kind of don't want to pull any troops out of here for Guadalcanal, but I think we're going to have to. All right, let's uh, set up a patrol pattern. Going to keep Surface Action Group 9 right in this area here and not move them out just because that's a foresight on my part, or an oversight more like. Foresight would have been seeing them and catching them and sinking them before they took uh, put troops on the island. All right. Tuscaloosa ready to launch aircraft, which we sh probably should do. So we are going to get our air patrols up. 
Okay, so we went the better part of two days without seeing anything. So we have our two supply convoys that are going to be moving in close to Guadalcanal to drop off their supplies and hopefully retake the island. So we'll get them in nice and close. They don't appear to be moving, so hopefully that'll be close enough. Supply 1 has unloaded all cargo. We'll be out of the area. Let's see. Supply 2. Supply 2 has unloaded all cargo. Okay. Let's see. That'll do it. Surface Action Group 9 back. I've just been blowing through time pretty quick. Haven't seen anything at all in the past couple. Like I said, almost two days. Doesn't look like that's enough. That's unfortunate. Okay. Enemy ship spotted near Enterprise Battle Group. That could be bad. Or Lexington Battle Group. It's midnight, so... See what Lexington Battle Group's... Oh. Six merchants, one destroyer. So they are sending reinforcements down, so it's kind of imperative that we take care of this now. Uh, Lexington's probably just going to up and leave. Head away from the battle. So we will get into that. All right. Turn your radar on. Oh my God, it's dark. You guys probably aren't even going to be able to see this. are headed right for us. So Lexington, you are going to break and just head away as fast as you can. Bradford go through and identify these guys. Fifteen thousand yards out. Oh, we gotta identify this destroyer still. Oh, so hard to see. Sashio. Okay, Radford target number one. Quincy wants you to target this is Sashio. Oakland. The Sashio. And Vincennes, you can target this one back here. First thing we're going to do is we are going to put up star shells. Oh, 
on everybody. Okay. Let's make sure the Lexington's getting out of here. There she goes. See how are they maneuvering? Looks like they're splitting. Cruisers start firing on their assigned targets. Okay, looks like the Asashi was making a run for us. Sashi was coming in on us pretty good. coming at us at 30 knots. We're going to turn like this, have everyone follow, just for the sake of uh, dodging torpedoes that I think may be inbound. Scoring any hits on these guys yet? Lexington is booking in the other direction, is what I want her to do.
scoring any hits on her. Uh, it looks like we're getting a few hits here. Either that or she's making smoke to screen the uh, convoy. Really doesn't look like these guys. Oh, here we go. They are turning. We're still launching star shells with Radford. Okay, hold your fire. Switch your target to this Asashio here. Star shells. Hopefully improve her uh, solution a little bit. Seven thousand yards out. Looking like kind of a mess up here. So far, only minor damage on the uh, destroyer. Looks like the Quincy just took a hit. Okay, we're gonna hold your fire. Start firing rounds at her. I think I'm going to have you do is fire all your torpedoes on a pretty wide spread. We're going to do it manually. Let's just put the spread right through the middle of this group here. I don't know if all eight are going to come out or if I have to Spin the ship around. There's four. All right, Oakland. Break. Spin so your other uh, torpedo tubes come to bear. Hopefully the Vincennes doesn't turn into them. Slow you down a little bit. Just let those other torpedoes get out. Oh, are you? All right, there's all eight of them. And we're going to form up the Vincennes and the Oakland. Have you head up? We'll let the uh, Radford and the Asashio take care of this destroyer. He is on fire. Okay. Okay. 
so close to. And Radford, while we're at it. Now we're still kind of far out from these guys. We'll wait till we get the uh, destroyer taken care of and then go in the offensive against the uh, what are you doing hey I'm gonna have you hold your fire Stop targeting the Asashio. Start targeting... Okay, are we getting any hits on the uh, supply ships? A little bit. So this destroyer has critical damage. Very close. There we go. Okay. Race you up. Oakland Vincennes is are heading up as well. Uh, let's put some star shells over these guys. kind of outpacing our own torpedoes here. That might not be a good thing. And hopefully you don't, we don't run into this uh, wreck. We are only 8,000 yards out. Hold your fire. Slow down a little bit. Let our torpedoes get a bit of a lead. A Oakland and Sins. High explosive. And sends. Hold your fire. Okay, Radford. Evading target or evading. That's funny. Move to dodge the uh, sinking ship there. Pretty good. Okay, Quincy. Doesn't look like you're firing star shells. Okay, so you are. Let's see how we're doing. Do we see any flames out there? Really? Check the report. 
Minor damage. Speed it up a little bit. See how our torpedoes do. So we're getting hits now. Might actually get some hits with these torpedoes. They're all just kind of doing some weird shit there. Watch them all miss. if they all miss. This guy may take a hit. One hit there. One hit there. Speed her up. May get a hit on this guy. See what we got. One hit there. Okay, so at least our torpedoes weren't complete wastes of... Uh, Ammo. Okay. Have you turn in? This guy's getting away. The one. Heavy damage, critical, heavy, and heavy. Okay. one of them down. Okay. Bradford, you have torpedoes. Let's turn you in a little bit. Launch them all. Narrow up the spread a little bit, go manual. And just send it right through the middle of the group. Ten torpedoes. Quincy, have you break and slow down. Just count the torpedoes as they head out. Oh yeah, that's all ten of them. No, it's not. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Yes, it is. All right. Okay. 
All right. So we will speed things up a little bit. All right, so the torpedoes are inbound. Maybe I should have widened out that spread a little bit. Dogs are going nuts. We got one, another one of them down. Let's see if we get any hits with this, this spread. It's like most of them are on fire. Two out of the three are on fire. And there's this guy out here. Uh, we're gonna switch our targets here. All right. Track our torpedoes here. See if they do any damage. This one's gonna miss. These guys may be in for something special. They're just going in circles, so. See what we can, oh, they're all gonna, they're all gonna miss. This one might get some, or not. One, just one. There we go, just one. Maybe if he swings around fast enough, he'll uh, eat one of the torpedoes. Probably not, wishful thinking on my part. Okay. So let's target you with the Oakland. And the Vincennes. You, Radford, want you to target him and him. Let's launch our star shells over them. Whoops, no manual fire. get some star shells up with these guys as well have them speed up star shells <clears throat> sorry if this is hard to see it's hard to see for me too like I get, I gotta keep moving close to the uh, screen to be able to see it. All right, that's enough for the star shells, I think. Ultra fire, switch to armor piercing. Okay, we got another one down. Okay, old fire, armor piercing. What you have is what you're going to be shooting with. Lexington's just on a little joyride. We could probably turn her around. Get any hits?
Okay, Oakland, Vincennes. What's the solution? Now oh, 46 percent. Let's check the damages. Uh, heavy and moderate. This one has minor and none. Hopefully that'll change fairly soon. We're gonna turn you guys Bring you back down. Can't see anything through the uh, spotlights. Going nine knots. Uh, Vincennes. Have you hold fire? Manual. She is spinning in a circle at nine knots. So we will put. Right here. See how we do. Straight in front of her. You should turn into the next salvo or two. She's losing her speed now. Next one should catch her right on the uh, fantail. There we go. Hold your fire. There we go. Okay. Seventeen thousand yards, Oakland. What do you have for range? Just barely within range. Vincennes, I think your range is a little better. Twenty-five thousand yards. Okay, Quincy, hold your fire. He's going 17 knots. At 7,000 yards. Right there. In a fire or not? Oh, there we go. Hold your fire. Just a little bit behind her. Okay, fire. Why it's taking them so long to fire. Go. Oh, good. Nice hit there. Someone's way off.
Oh, she's not even moving now. Quincy. Annual fire. She is dead in the water. Shouldn't take too long. Head south. Annual fire as well. Might as well. Why not? slow down there we go full convoy sunk thirty four command points all right well that was an interesting little engagement sorry if it was so dark you couldn't even see it uh, we're gonna check on our bases now see how they're doing Speed things up. So close to taking them, I don't want to take the troops off. But we need uh, Guadalcanal. Really need Guadalcanal. So we'll work on that going forward and pick up where we left off in the next episode. If you like the episode hit the like button subscribe if you'd like to follow along and leave your thoughts tips and advice in the comments below j76ny saying thank you very much for watching and have yourself a very good day